Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on simultaneous equations. In this video, we'll be looking at simultaneous equations where one is linear and the other one is quadratic. So we start the problem. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the line y equal to 3x minus 4 and the curve y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. This is the linear form of the equation and this is the quadratic form of the equation. So we are going to name the equations. The linear form is named equation 1 and the quadratic form is named equation 2. Since both equations are y equal to the right hand side, y equal to the right hand side, so we can equate equation 1 and equation 2. So equating that, I will go with the quadratic form. So x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 4. We then collect the like terms and form the quadratic equation. So I have x squared here. The minus 2x will still remain at the left-hand side. This 3x will move to the left-hand side. It becomes minus 3x. The plus 2 will still remain on the left-hand side. The minus 4 going to the left-hand side becomes plus 4 equals 0. We simplify. x squared minus 2x minus 3x gives minus 5x plus 2 plus 4 gives plus 6 is equal to 0. We are going to solve by factoring method. So to factorize, I have my two brackets. This x squared, I keep one here and keep one here. I'm now looking for two factors of 6 whose sum will give us negative 5. The two factors are negative 3 and negative 2. So we have the negative 2 in the first bracket, negative 3 in the second bracket is equal to 0. So I have factored out the left hand side. Since the product is equal to 0, it means x minus 2 is equal to 0, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So solving the two linear equations here, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3. Then we go ahead to substitute these values of x in any of the two equations to get the corresponding values of y. So we go from equation 1. From equation 1, when x is equal to 2, we pick the first value of x. y will be equal to 3 times 2, that is 3 into 2 minus 4. 3 times 2 gives 6, 6 minus 4 gives 2. Then we go ahead when x is equal to 3, y will be equal to 3 into 3 minus 4. 3 times 3 gives 9, 9 minus 4 gives 5. So we now have y equal to 5. On a normal good day, if we are just meant to find or solve the equations, you still need to go ahead to get the values of x and y. What we'll now do to get the coordinates of the points of intersection, we have them as when x is 2, y is 2. So the first point there is 2, comma 2. And uh, when x is 3, y is equal to 5. We have it as 3, comma 5. These are the coordinates of the points of intersection of the line and the curve. So that is all for this problem and this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.